Have you ever cut a fish open and the fish not bleed? Stay tuned for that. Welcome to Walking on Water. Since I couldn't beat the heat, I figured I'd come out at night and hit them. So tonight, I already caught a few. Got a few crappy bass. And I'm trying to catch a catfish. Uh, so I'm gonna see how that's gonna work out. I'm in the mood for some catfish nuggets. Y'all know how that go. Speaking of catfish, one just hit me. <laughs> now, I can pull them up. I'm, I'm using a fly rod. Woo! I figured it'd be fun to try to pull one up on a fly rod. I'm gonna weigh him out. I'm gonna weigh him out. Now I got Power Pro Braid on. Tighten this up. 10 pound test. Come on. I just switched the camera view. There he is. It's going to be some nuggets right there. Let me grab my. <laughs> it's gonna be some nuggets definitely going in the box <laughs> we'll put them in this box we got another fish on y'all <laughs> oh, come on oh, no. this, is, this time it's a bat bass <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> About to put him in the box. All right, so back to what I was saying. I'm gonna be cleaning these fish, and I had a few subscribers already ask me, hey, how do you fillet? How do you prep? So, this method I'm about to share. It's going to guarantee you to have the cleanest, freshest fillets. Let me get set up and I'll get back with you. Okay, so I got my fillet knife, cordless. It's a bubble. I ain't sponsored by them or nothing. Um, got my table. Let's talk about it. So I want y'all to think about this. The body wants to live. No matter if it's a fish, human, animal, it wants to live. And if you was to cut an artery, uh, you're gonna bleed out. Not only are you gonna bleed out, it's gonna pulsate because your, the heartbeat is still pumping. So it's, it's, it shoots out, the blood shoots out. So it's the concept of doing the same thing with a fish. If you cut his gill, it's like cutting his artery and his heart will still be beating. So what I do is I cut the gill of my, my catch and I put them in my basket and let them bleed out. Well, they call it bleeding your fish. It, it normally takes about 30, 45 seconds, something like that. Um, I'm gonna show you all the example, show you what I do uh, so you can see how to do it. So 
But before I start filleting these fish, I'm gonna show y'all my catches. And then I'm gonna clean them, put them in bags, and I'm gonna head to the house. Here's my bass. <laughs> Good ones, of course. They gonna get filleted. I'm gonna show y'all my catfish. And I probably caught maybe 15, 20 crappies. So, hey, what more can you ask for? Here go your catfish. Catfish nuggets coming up soon. <laughs> For the sake of this video, I put a couple of crappy in this basket. So I'm gonna let y'all see that. Let y'all see them. We gonna bleed them out and fillet them so I can show y'all those fillets. Now I'm gonna not bleed one of them just so y'all can uh, see the difference. So what I do, Grab me a, a crappy. Take me some little sizzles. And I get right here in the gill. Can you see, if you can see that? Get right in that gill. You can poke them like that. Give them a cut. See, he's starting to bleed. He's starting to bleed out right now. So I'm gonna put them in the basket. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do the other ones like that. Okay, so filleting a crap is pretty simple. What I do is, I lift, put my finger on that gill plate, I get right behind it like this, touch straight down till I feel the bone. And then I turn the knife like that way, and go straight down the backbone. Open them up. Go to the tail end. Follow along that the skin. Flip them over and repeat. Behind the gill plate. Do you feel that bone? Turn your knife and ride the backbone. Open them up. Keep your knife flat. That's going to help you out. Just as simple as that. That's how I fillet. This fish has been bled already. As you can see, he ain't bleeding. That, that fillet is nice and clear. I can see that. almost see-through okay so this is a crappy that i didn't bleed the same thing i'm gonna go behind a gill plate turn go straight down that backbone look at all that blood you see that now you can rinse it off and you'll be fine but I'm just showing y'all a better, easier way to do things. Behind the gill plate. Ride the backbone. Open them up. Really that simple. Like I said, you see all that blood, all the blood that was in there because the heart didn't pump it out. So if you bleed your fish, it's gonna be nice and clean, no blood. Okay, that's how you bleed out your fish. 
Now it works for catfish, crappie, bass, basically all your fish, as long as it got a heartbeat. So I hope this video helped a few of y'all. Um, that's how I fillet. Um, there's plenty of ways to do it, but that's how I do it. I got an older video that I might post. It goes more in detail, in depth. Show you uh, another different way how to fillet it as well. If y'all have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you learned something. Hey, I, I appreciate your support. Um, this has been another episode of Walking on Water. Y'all be blessed.